What's up, YouTube? This is Star Wolf. Look, why does it always have to be our people? We always into some shit that we shouldn't have no business being in. This, this, this entire story is foul on so many levels and it's disgusting. Check this out. This 29-year-old female, Elizabeth Daniels, she was a, a temporary frontline worker, okay? She was working at this assisted, this upscale assisted living uh, facility where she was caring for, you know, older, older patients. Now, what happened was this uh, older woman by the name of Barbara Gus, she was 86, she died. She died from the coronavirus. Now, Elizabeth took it upon herself to steal the woman's engagement ring, which we all know engagement rings is very, very sentimental. She also, she also stole an engagement ring was worth $25,000. She also stole the woman's credit cards, okay? And she purchased a vehicle the same day that the woman passed away. She purchased a vehicle for two hundred dollars. Now, that's foul on so many, so many levels. This and and you could tell how it went down that this was planned. You know, this woman died from the coronavirus, as I believe like ten other people, eleven other uh, people died at that facility from the coronavirus. And they doing an uh, investigation to see if this Elizabeth Daniels participated in any other thefts at this uh, assisted living facility, which it's a possibility that she have because she probably feel that she had gotten away. Uh, she had gotten away with this, with this woman. But the way she had got caught was because she went to a pawn shop. She went to the she went to a pawn shop where she pawned the ring and they had all of her records and everything. So not only did that catch her up, but uh the woman's family was preparing for when they was preparing for the funeral, they had noticed that their family member that she wasn't wearing her ring. So they became suspicious. You know, so they uh also also when they discovered that she hadn't been uh wearing her ring, they start they asked the uh you know they 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 asked the uh management, they asked the personnel there, had her room door been locked, and her room door wasn't locked like it was supposed to have been locked, so they went to searching for other belongings which they found were missing as well. And they had stumbled upon, they noticed that uh, several several of her credit cards had been used. They had activity on it. And uh, I believe that's what uh, Elizabeth Daniels had purchased the vehicle with was the uh, credit cards. So, you know, this is, this is very, very scandalous. I'm not saying that this is the first time this probably has ever happened. But, uh... This was a family that was paying attention. This was a family that obviously they love. They, you know, they have a lot of love for their loved one that passed. So they noticed this engagement ring. It's a $25,000 engagement ring. Hell yeah, they're going to notice that it's missing. It's not on her finger. It probably has so many diamonds in it, you know, and she's been wearing it for so many years as she's 86. She was 86 years old. So... This is something that they're used to seeing, and now it's gone. And the only person that probably could have, you know, been possible, the only person that could have taken it was uh, Elizabeth Daniels, the one that was caring for her. I'm pretty sure there was other nurses around, but, you know, certain nurses is assigned to certain patients, so they caught her. Anyway, she's facing, you know, this happened, this happened in uh, Denver. So she's facing, you know, the, the, the prosecutors is charging her with a uh, death from an at risk uh, from an at risk victim over five hundred dollars identity theft, providing a false statement to a pawnbroker and criminal possession 
of a financial transaction device. So she didn't she didn't she didn't racked up, you know, she didn't racked up all kind of criminal charges for herself. Young woman, cool job, you know, as I stated, this was an upscale senior living community. They probably didn't want to, you know, they probably scrutinized everybody who applied for the jobs there. Here it is, they gave her a job. They don't like to hire black people anyhow. They let her in, and now they probably kicking themselves in the ass like, look, see, this is why we don't, this is why we don't hire their kind. They do look at us like that. They do say that. This is why we don't hire their kind, because they commit acts they commit acts such as this. Here it is. This 86 year old woman has passed away from the coronavirus and she steals her belongings the same day. Not only does she steal her belongings the same day, but she uses her credit cards to purchase a vehicle. And pawns the rain. That's scandalous and foul. That's very, very, very scandalous and foul. And I'm pretty sure all of the charges is going to stick. They're going to make an example out of her, especially espe this is going to turn into to like a black and white thing, whether you want to believe it or not. If this lady, I'm, I, I don't know her race. I don't know if she the one that passed. I don't know if she's a Caucasian woman or not, but it, God forbid if she is and she was this old, they're going to make an example out of her. Uh, Elizabeth Daniels they're going to definitely make an example out of her and she and if she, she it seems it appears to me that she was well off that she has money her family has money so they're going to make sure that she's prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law and she could have avoided all of this that temptation got to her that temptation got her she Probably felt like she wasn't going to be caught because the woman had died. And it's foolish. She probably have gotten away with it ever since she worked there. But it does say she was a temporary worker. So she probably was hired through a temp agency and was probably going to be there for like two months, three months. Who knows? I don't know. But it's just sad, unfortunate situation. You know, my heart goes out to the family that lost their loved ones. But this is crazy. This is foul and disgusting. Uh, I'll keep y'all updated as I get more information about this case because this is interesting. Anyway, let me know how y'all feel about this situation in the comment section below. I'm Star Wolf. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't. If you have, I appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button and the notification bell so you can get these videos when they drop. And make sure you share all my videos on social media platforms. Peace.